I am on today to do a tutorial real quick on how to put those planner charms on the bottom of your planners that I know everybody has probably seen. I was doing one while ago and I messed it up, so I'm doing another one. I've been going through all my cords. The cords that I got for it is was too, um, the beads are too small. I got these beads from my mother-in-law and so they were the only ones that she would let me have. So I have been trying different cords and doing different stuff. I cut this cord um, for the small planners. I found out from plan from Angie from Plan to Innovate that she said you do about six inches. So and you double you double it. So I went to six and then I doubled it again, and then I left some more room for the bottom. So you just take your ruler and you double it at the six for the small ones. And then I am putting on my charms. The first one I did was too short. So I found a charm that I had, a heart one that my mother had given me. And now that she's gone, I thought I found it. And so I was going to use it. And then these other, these beads I got from my mother-in-law. So, I um, just put it through at one end. You don't want it to come out on the other side, but then you take it and you t do a knot. And you want the knot to be as close to the edge as you can possibly get it where you feel comfortable. And then... When you string it down, it should stay. So it does. And then you come to your other side and you just, I wanted to use this pink cord, but it, it, the, the beads are too small, the hole. So these, this cord I usually use when I make my traveler's notebooks for the strings. And so, then you just tie it again. Make sure you try to get to the bottom because you want to keep it as even as you can. And then you try this one to make sure it stays. So then you have it kind of like that. Okay? Then, for the real test, is you get your planner because you want it to kind of hang off. We decided we were going to put it in the middle. So you want to get it to where they both hang out. And the string that I have is elastic, so it will, um, oh, that is perfect. Okay, so when you think you have how you want it, like I do, you have it like that. I like it to be just like that. I hope you guys can see that. There it is right there. So then you come over and you just untie, I mean you take off what you don't, you know, the access or whatever. And then you have your charm. And that's how I wanted it. I'm going to try to get used to it because I'm not used to anything hanging off at the bottom. I used to like put stuff on the top to hang off, but for right now that's all I have. So I have that. That's pretty, that's pretty cute. I think that's pretty cute. I hope you guys can see that. But I just did it and then but I got the idea from Plan to Innovate. And, you know, of course, this is a big rage now. Everybody doing these to their planners. And when I can get some more, when I can get some money and get some more of my own beads and charms and stuff, I'll be making a bunch more. My next one thing I'm going to make is going to be a football. And I should have put the heart down at the bottom, I think, because it's kind of, but that's how it looks. That's how this one is. And then, um, I wanted to make one for this big one, for my big one, but I probably will later. This is that cord that I was telling you about. It's starting to stretch out more, and I'm not liking it. So I'm going to do some changes to this one, and then I'll probably will make a, 
another one for this. But I just wanted to come on real quick and show you guys how I did it. And that if you want to see another video of it, you can go to Plan Plan to in Innovate. And she has it, Angie. I will link it down below. But I just wanted to come on and show you guys that and show you guys what I did. So thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. bye. Say bye. 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 <laughs> bye. <laughs>